The original Gallardo is the most successful Lamborghini of all time, with 7,100 being sold. The new Gallardo LP564 has a more powerful engine and is 20 kilograms lighter, resulting in an increased performance without an increase in emissions. Traction has also been increased over its predecessor, thanks to improvements to the four-wheel drive transmission, suspension, and aerodynamics. A smooth underbody and rear diffuser helps to suck the car onto the road at higher speeds. The new Lamborghini Gallardo LP564 is a master at taking corners fast. An optimized weight distribution of 57% to the rear was achieved by placing the engine lengthways, hence the LP, longitudinal posteriore in the model description.
strip deployed. We are showing flight strip deployed at your location. The Super Snake is a package offered by Shelby to enhance the power and looks of the Ford Shelby GT500. Everything a balls to the wall muscle car needs. With an increase of 16 horsepower of boost on the Whipple Supercharger, the peak power of the 5.4 liter V8 has been increased from 550 bhp at 6,500 rpm to 750 bhp at 6,200 rpm. If the driver is able to harness all this extra power, they will complete the standing quarter mile in 12 seconds flat, with a speed of 120 miles per hour at the line. The hood is now one giant air scoop designed to push as much air into the supercharger as possible. A prominent carbon fiber splitter can also be seen, which will certainly help push the front tires into the road when trying to corner while accelerating.
The cops are on to us at every level, but there is one area where they can't match us. Speed. Your cars are being fitted with the latest speed enhancement, the turbo system. Activate the turbo, and within seconds, the system will engage and give your car a rocket-powered kick of acceleration and speed. The system is very volatile, so you can only attempt a limited number of launches during the race. Good luck. The original Gallardo is the most successful Lamborghini of all time, with 7,100 being sold. The new Gallardo LP564 has a more powerful engine and is 20 kilograms lighter, resulting in an increased performance without an increase in emissions. Traction has also been increased over its predecessor, thanks to improvements to the four-wheel drive transmission, suspension, and aerodynamics. A smooth underbody and rear diffuser helps to suck the car onto the road at higher speeds. The new Lamborghini Gallardo LP564 is a master at taking corners fast. An optimized weight distribution of 57% to the rear was achieved by placing the engine lengthways, hence the LP, Longitudinal Posteriore, in the model description.
The chances of owning the new Reventon Roadster? One in 700 million. Costing a cool $250,000 more than the Reventon, this car is also limited to only 20 examples. With 40 years of building open-top cars, Roadsters are a way for Lamborghini to add that extra emotional component to their technological expertise. Where the engine in the Reventon was a tuned version of the LP640's engine, the Reventon Roadster features an engine almost identical to the one used in the hardcore LP670 4 Super Veloce. Unlike the Reventon, the exclusive paint used has a matte grey finish that is brought to life in sunlight due to the inclusion of metal particles. The wheels are formed of five Y-form spokes, which include a carbon, crescent-shaped fin that helps cool the brakes even further.
The Porsche 959 with its electronically controlled all-wheel drive was originally conceived as a Group B car. The road-going version created to satisfy homologation regulations that required a minimum of 200 street legal units to be built. The road car became the world's fastest street legal production car with a top speed of 197 miles per hour and was hailed as the most technologically advanced road-going sports car ever built. Instead of creating an engine from scratch, Porsche developed an existing engine, ending up with a twin turbocharged six-cylinder boxer engine with an air-cooled block and water-cooled heads. The use of sequential twin turbochargers allowed for smooth, seamless delivery of power across the engine RPM band, which contrasted to the sudden delivery of power found in other turbocharged engines of this period. Instead of using a tubular space frame which would have saved weight, Porsche chose to use a steel monocoque which reduced cost and would be easier to translate to future models. The pursuit of lightness and aerodynamics was, however, a big focus for the body, which was made from Kevlar and was a pioneering feature of the mid-80s. Its big front air dam and huge rear spoiler were created from time spent in the wind tunnel and contributed to an impressive drag coefficient of 0.31.
Throughout its entire production run from 1975 to 1989, the Porsche 911 Turbo was the top-of-the-range model from Porsche. Making use of turbocharging technology, which Porsche had begun experimenting with in the early 1970s with the Porsche 917, the 911 Turbo was developed to be a direct competitor for the much more expensive and exclusive supercars of the era. Although the car was no longer required as a homologation model, due to changes in the homologation rules, it became the basis for the 934 and the 935 race cars. The car proved to be very fast, but also very demanding to drive. Its short wheelbase, engine position, and power delivery contributed to a tendency to oversteer that required a high level of skill to control. A distinctive flared rear spoiler, wider rear arches, and upgraded tires were added to help increase grip and make the car more stable. The rear spoiler was later raised even more to allow enough space for the newer air-to-air -air intercooler, which was added to increase power even further. Stopping performance was also improved by using brakes, similar to those found on the successful Porsche 917 race car.
This is a homologation model which qualifies the car to be raced in a range of racing series. The creation of the RS Rennsport a Racing Sport allows drivers to experience the thrill of a finely tuned race car on the road. The 911 GT3 was a great starting point. The goal was more power, higher performance and faster lap times. Engine power is now 444 bhp at 7,900 rpm, while the braking system has been overhauled with new composite brake discs. Lap This is the homologation model which qualifies the car to be raced in a...
completing the DBS lineup, the Volante affords customers the combination of the DBS's already established benchmark sports car characteristics with all the thrills of open-air motoring. Broadening the DBS's character, the DBS Volante appeals to drivers who wish to combine the excitement of driving a finely tuned sports car with the invigorating feeling of being open to the elements. This juxtaposition of ultimate performance and openness stirs the senses on any drive, whether an exhilarating jaunt on favored roads or cruising on lengthy journeys. Volante, meaning moving with light rapidity or flying, perfectly defines the performance potential and dynamic characteristics of the DBS Volante. Aston Martin's 16th convertible in 95 years, the DBS Volante draws on the Mark's extensive experience in designing iconic Volantes and is a 2 plus 2 featuring two occasional rear seats, ideal for young people or extra luggage. When the roof is closed, it provides a warm, comfortable ambiance, and when open, it neatly disappears behind the sculpted tonneau cover at the touch of a button. Although development officially began in 2006, the SL65 AMG Black Series is the culmination of more than 40 years of dedication to performance. One man, one engine. Each AMG 6-liter V12 bi-turbo engine is hand-built by a single engineer before it's lowered into the body. To optimize the power-to-weight ratio, the engine power has been increased to 661 bhp, and the car's weight has been reduced by 250 kilograms. Except for the doors and attached wing mirrors, all bodywork parts have been replaced for the AMG Black Series. A wider stance and an extending carbon fiber rear spoiler, a first for a Mercedes AMG car, improve the poise and grip and create a menacingly aggressive appearance.
Exceptional performance and breathtaking dynamism coupled with the intense sensations of open-top driving. Audi presents the R8 Spyder 5.2 FSI Quattro, which was developed in cooperation with Quattro GmbH, dazzles with uncompromising performance. The V10 engine with the aluminum crankcase, much of which is hand-built, follows in the Grand Motorsports tradition at Audi. The Quattro permanent all-wheel drive features a central viscous coupling and distributes power to all four wheels with a heavy rear bias. The side panels and the large cover over the storage compartment for the cloth top are made of a carbon fiber composite. Two arch cowls which extend to the spoiler lip and include large integrated air vents give the rear of the open top two-seater a powerful profile.
Kuntash is an exclamation of astonishment that a man from Piedmont, northern Italy, might make when seeing an extremely beautiful woman. Allegedly, this was the word that Nuccio Bertoni uttered when he first saw the design and the name stuck. A single prototype was built and shown at the 1971 Geneva Motor Show. The first Kuntash, with a few necessary design modifications, including much larger air intakes on the car's rear shoulders, was delivered in 1974. Although not the first wedge-shaped car design, it is undoubtedly the most famous and was the must-have pin-up car of the 80s. A total of 676 Kuntash LP5000 QVs were built between 1985 and 1988, with the Kuntash being replaced by the Diablo in 1990. Improvements to the engine were made throughout the Kuntash's lifetime. With the LP5000 QV, the V12 engine received four valves per cylinder, hence the QV, quattro valvole name and an increase in engine capacity to 5.2 liters. The six double carburetors were moved from the side to the top, which improved engine breathing, but reduced rear visibility to near zero.